What's up? What's up? What's up, Solar Warriors? What is up, Solar Warriors? Today is Tuesday, March 5th, 2024. My name is Jarrett McAllister, the virtual solar pro. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your fellow solopreneurs. We are excited to kick off this week's training. Uh, fresh back from Mexico, we got Jonathan Bernasso, Rick Joseph in the house this week, Mr. Tom Cotter. What's up, ladies and gents? How's everybody doing? Grand rising. Doing awesome. Doing awesome. Excited to see everybody here. We got Stephen Reynolds and Michael Spring, David Ringo, even the infamous Christopher Collier out of Alabama, Birmingham. Let's go. Solar Mike, Mike Winter. We got we got some OG on the call. All star. Uh, don't forget about the solar bowler. Come on now. In the house. Oh, and carry some solar all stars. John so Bob, the artist working man in solar is here too. Our Craig Bloom. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. With that iconic smile in front of a power convention, uh, you know, tent. That's he is the hardest working man in solar. Hardest working networker. I, that, I'll tell you that much for sure. Nobody All right, you does, guys. Well, nobody look. does events like he does, man. He's Amen. got, he's got no. the tent game down. We want to hear that success story in a second. Yeah, let's, let's do that. So let's kick this thing right off, shall we? So let's jump into success stories like we do every single week we love to hear them if you have one drop it in the chat but raise your hand don't be shy come on come one come all somebody else has to tell one except besides bill conley okay <laughs> can't craig, be the star of craig. the show every single week craig, tell us about your events real quick my man we all admire yes. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate appreciate certainly the, the, the kudos. Yeah, listen, so we're at the, the Home and Garden Show this past weekend. We'll be back there again this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So uh, so it's it's uh, every roofer in, in the States practically at the show. So uh, I've got Emmett and John Dix working the floor. Man, they're doing some magic. They're going around and introducing themselves to everybody. We'll be closing all that business this weekend. And so uh, we, we've got a pretty neat thing in the booth. We, we put out a little golf game, and right? And so the folks come by and the kids see that golf game. The kids start playing miniature golf, and then we pitch the parents. And then so we bring them around to the back of the booth. We sit them down. I've got the parents sitting there putting their information in, scheduling the appointments there at the show. And so we, we had some, you know, we had at least a dozen super qualified leads come through. Everyone's got multiple leads to work this week. I've got three or four appointments scheduled from from this past weekend already, and so uh, it's uh, it's great, man. It's it's uh, it's it's terrific. It's it it is it's grueling. I can just tell you that. I mean, when you're sitting on that floor for ten hours a day, you come back for another ten hours. Um, you're uh, you're tired at the end of the day, but but um, it's uh, it's pretty cool. And so um, next year we'll even have a bigger booth. We've got some plans of of how we're going to turn it into. Uh, an entirely different event next year. We're going to partner with a roofing company and have them actually in our booth. So we're going to pitch roof and, and solar together that way. So we've got some great ideas, but uh, it's going terrific. So I I, I appreciate everyone's uh, you know support, and uh, we're we're doing it out here. The DMV. We're we're tearing it up in Maryland. Yeah. Hey Craig, Craig, question for you. Question for you, real quick. How many of these yes, have you done so far? It seems like you're kind of setting the benchmark for the company on on the booth, uh, Manning. Thank you, Rick. I mean, so so look, this is my second year. Last year, I did it by myself. This year, I've got four other folks in the booth with me. So so, you know, uh, everyone knows obviously, you know, Emmett if, if he's on the call or not. But uh, we're we're working that. Um, and so uh, I every month I do the Bethesda Farmers Market. So this is my second year doing that as well. Uh, so this weekend up at the, at the the show, next weekend at the show, and then the following weekend I'll be at the Farmers Market. Um, you know, so. Uh, that's that's kind of what I'm doing, and then actually in April I'm doing a uh, what's uh, it's called a Pathways. It's um, a Natural Living Expo. So it's uh, folks come out to this particular expo. They're all um, it's home remedies, it's it's spiritualists, that type of thing. They're earth earthy people, if you will, and so they're into solar. So so I'm I'm pitching my tent uh, at that one more time. That's the fifth time I've done that show. I'll be out there again in April. 
And so uh, just continue to, you know, just look for folks, look for venues where people are, right? Because people own homes. Doesn't matter what it is, whether you're into flying kites, go to a kite show. Because those people that fly kites own homes. And that's uh, that's what we do. Thank you, Rick. I appreciate that. Well, Craig, well, that's really good What would you say your, your, your leads that you get per show, just so people can have an understanding? Because people talk about leads, right? So, I mean, this is something that everybody could do in their own market. So talk to us a little bit about your success in terms of getting leads on, on one of these events. So so thank you. And it's, so, so this past weekend, I mean, we, we had 12 qualified leads. And I mean qualified because we scheduled appointments. We've collected utility bills. Um, and that's what we're doing. So the key really is to schedule the appointment at the show. I mean, everybody and their brother is going to come by. They're going to kick the tires. They're going to grab a car. And I'll call you. And they never will. They never will. You know, so we have a sign up sheet there with an iPad. We fill, fill out the iPad. I immediately take them over to, to Calendarly, schedule the appointment. Um, and then that's kind of how that's working. But we had 12 really super qualified leads. I mean, there's a lot more than that than people are walking by. And I know more and more things will come from that. Um, but in terms of getting those leads. So last year I had about 50. Um, so this year we we want to to ratchet up to at least a hundred leads, and we should be able to do that effectively. Uh, you know, the next three days through this this coming weekend. So a lot of times it's kind of the ramp up, right? I mean, folks will come out the first first weekend, and then they come back to do their closing the following week. But it's not just about being at the show, right? You got to work the floor, and so we had a whole plan with that. And so so you know, Emmett, Emmett has walked by. We kind of split the the, the showroom floor. There's forty thousand people coming through this venue. 40,000, you know, and so there's, there's landscaping companies, there's every roofing company, there's HVAC companies. And so we're pitching them all and we're pitching enterprise, you know, so, so we're, we're, we're working that side of the, the angle. I mean, I think Emmett had uh, um, 18, at least solid leads with them already. Um, and so, so uh, uh, you know, so I'm, I'm expecting to, to, to roll several of those over. I met a couple of them last year. They see me back again. I come back to the booth and just reinforce that relationship if we haven't brought them on board yet. Um, but that's that's how it is. I mean, you you, you got to be there. It's it's the Maryland State Show, so so this is the largest show for the entire state. There will be separate you know venues with that, but um, anyhow, that's that's what it is. I mean, it's and again, the technique really, and a lot of folks here that have done some shows, you know, the technique truly is to schedule the appointment at the show. If you don't do that, they typically get away. And so, uh, so even after you've you've collected those leads, like uh, my, when I sent the leads out to our team, my advice was call them tonight or tomorrow at the latest. If you don't get in touch with them right away, you're probably going to start to lose the fish. Um, so that's kind of you gotta you have to uh, uh, strike while the iron's hot, while it's while it's in still in their in their in their emotional buying uh, mode, if you will, and uh, and take advantage of it there. But but. Um, Great stuff, man. Great stuff. It's working well. Thank you. Love it, Craig. Man, dude, you're absolutely crushing that. It works if you work it. You're putting in the work. You're dropping golden nuggets for those of you out there. And anybody can do this, you guys. And it's starting to become that time of the year. Home and garden shows, you know, car shows, festivals, farmers markets. It's not that much of an uh, investment to get yourself a table, a tablecloth. You could do a pop-up tent. Don't think you have to spend thousands of dollars in the beginning. Start basic and small. You can spend a couple hundred bucks, get the material. And then as you start to see the fruits of your labor, reinvest into your business. Get a nicer tent, right? Get some nice iPads. Get some things to give away. So um, I absolutely love that. And it is a tried and true method to generate leads. So great job, Craig. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. I'll catch you on LinkedIn. Three other One things. more quick thing. Sorry, Tom. Things. What? To put this in perspective, the investment was about twenty five hundred dollars to be on the floor, so it cost me about five hundred dollars a day to be there. We'll, we'll sure do, for the event right. itself. We'll, we'll do a training on events coming up soon for you guys because this is a lot of great information. It totally is. Sorry. All Sorry, right. Tom. Thank you for that, man. Moving up to Solar Power Bill, Mister Conley, our weekly guest on the weekly wins. What's up, dude? I'm so sorry. It just is it's an embarrassment of riches. I can't believe it. Um, and I want to um, say, first of all, I'm so proud of my 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 dear friend, Craig Bloom and what he's done there. He's really single handedly taken that on as as his as his thing. But he's doing all kinds of things beyond shows. So way to go, Craig. 
Hey, I want to acknowledge and introduce again, because he wasn't able to be here last week, uh, uh, Richie Martinez, Richard Martinez from uh, Merced, California. Last week, we talked about his win to sign up on Friday and do his training on Saturday and have a deal on Sunday. I mean, a, a proposal on Sunday and a signed contract on Monday. This week, he's uh, completed and signed three projects. Uh, so he is rocking. Uh, I think we're going to hear a lot more about him, his uh, uh, his mom, or his, uh, uh, Lorraine's coming on the program as a solar pro. But anyway, want to acknowledge Richie Martinez, three deals this week. Congratulations. And then, of course, Jared Foster, I'm sure, has wins to share, too. So anyway, I love you all. Thank you all. Power is the best. There is no uh, there's no second place. Amen, brother. Great job and great job to your team, everybody on there crushing it. All right. So thank you for sharing that. We also have some wins from some team members who just came back from Power's impact journey in Mexico, where they went down, partnered up with Prosperity Homes to help build a home for a family. Um, Jonathan, you want to talk a little bit about your trip? Yeah, and I know that Cynthia, Rick, and Ubaldo are on here as well. I'll just tee it off for one minute and then um, hand it over to them. But due, due to the last summer sales contest, the top 20 uh, professionals got a work hard, play hard impact journey. So it's something we do once, twice a year. We go down to Mexico, build a home for a family in need. We work hard and then we play hard at a resort with zip lining, ATVs, dinners, masterminding, um, social media content, just an amazing time, wine tasting. And so uh, this trip was more like half corporate team members and then half uh, sellers. A lot of sellers couldn't make this trip. And here you can see Cami, our CMO, Ubaldo, there's J-Bud, his sister Emily, Rachel, Bobby Smith was able to go. From the intake department, we had um, Letty and Jackie. You can see Megan as well. Uh, she's on the software programming side. And you can see the son and the mom actually painting side by side. So we get to work hand in hand with the family. You might be able to see off here to the left, they're, they're literally like in a shack with a wooden door and some tarps. Um, that's actually a better structure than 90% of the families down there, believe it or not. So we get to go down and in literally two and a half days, we get to build a house. You can see Ubaldo, Fabian um, here, there's Letty, Cami again. Um, and then we visited an orphanage. So Bobby Smith, Layla, Emily Budd, Erica, all some of the corporate team members here. We played soccer with the local boys at an orphanage where a lot of kids are just, um, they don't really have anyone. Here you can see the home is being built and we stay at a dorm style, hostel style beach house. We do breath work uh, each morning. Half the group does breath work. You can see we have a nice assortment of some food here and uh, Rachel McDonald, and before you know it, this house and roof is uh, is all done. And we even throw the solar panels up there. They got some uh, China brand 460 watt panels. We do use a local solar company down there. This gentleman right here has been helping us. Um, so just enough to power a few light bulbs and a refrigerator, guys. That's really it. I mean, these families don't have running water and they don't have electricity. And so uh, just wrapping up here, an amazing time, the beach house. And then as we do the ceremony, there's Dean Rosenberg, our CTO, uh, Jonathan Budd, and the whole executive corporate team here. And then uh, we had Emily and Ubaldo hand the keys off prior to going and uh, having some fun. So I'll pause there and uh, see if... Rick, Cynthia, Ubaldo would like to share a little bit more about this amazing journey we just got back from. Yeah, I just think it's it's become such a part of our culture now. It's it's interwoven into who we are. So a few of us have been fortunate enough to be on three, well, I guess four at this point, Cynthia and Ubaldo, myself, uh, Chris, John. 
So what I really love is, you know, every year we bring different people down. And so seeing it through somebody's eyes that hasn't seen it before for the first time is always impactful for me. So in the share circle that we have, a couple of the folks shared that they had a lot of um, fear around stepping out of their comfort zone and coming down and doing this, right? And they almost didn't show up. And um, sure enough, once they showed up and they participated and they allowed themselves to be in the unknown, it greatly impacted them. There was tears of joy. And we, we know this by having done this three, four times now that it's just so impactful and life-changing for, for these folks. So um, we've got a couple of those folks on the call today that have been experiencing this for the first time. So I really wanted to kind of share or have them share with the team what it was like for the first time, what your expectations were going in, and then what it turned out to be, and your highlights and, and how it maybe changed you a little bit, um, you know, in the process. So, uh, Tyler, I think you're driving, but can you jump on and, and, and share a little bit about what the journey was for you the, for the first time? Absolutely. What's up, warriors and hitters? Um, I am driving, so sorry my camera's not on, but um, this was my first impact journey that I went to. Um, I had been invited before, but like Rick had said, just was like, I'm going to find a way to make it happen and get there. Um, and for me, it it changed my life. I mean, it puts things in a lot of perspective. For me, you know, we deal with a lot of challenges in solar. We're, we're combining construction and technology and project managers and things not going our way 100% of the time. And, you know, it really just puts things in perspective. This this gentleman, Oscar, he picks flowers six days a week from seven to five or six and makes $8 a day. And that is their only income source. And, you know, so to think about saving enough to build a home and get ahead is is obviously really, really challenging. So the fact that we were all able to go down there, you know, make a huge change in their life, give them a new perspective on what's possible and and hope. It was just a really, really beautiful experience. And then being able to do that with other team members at Power and, and just getting to know each other on a deeper level, um, you know, and going to the orphanage and, and seeing these kids who really don't have much, but there's still smiles on their faces. And we brought a ton of smiles it was like one of the most rewarding things I've ever been able to be a part of. And it was, um, it just really puts everything in perspective. So, you know, next time you're upset about something or frustrated with something, like just know there's, there's other people who have harder battles and, and more challenging things that they're going through. So it was, it was just awesome. And I'm so glad and it's a part of our culture. And for those who haven't been, and I'm sure we're going to roll one out in the future, some type of contest, like make it your personal goal to, to get on one of these, because it really is one of the coolest things I've ever been able to be a part of. Beautifully said, Tyler. That's, that's exactly what we're going for, right? It's, it's, you expressed it perfectly because that that's typically what people experience. Like I said, there's usually that little bit of pushback and not knowing, but then once you do it, you want to do more, you want to be on the next one. So um, we've also got, Good. We've also got now, Michael Spring, who's on, um, who was on his first mission as well. Michael's a uh, 14-year solar pro from Arizona, um, who comes from like a lot of us, the sun running culture, and he was just blown away. I'll kind of let him explain, you know, maybe the difference and how you see the power culture versus coming from corporate, and talk a little bit about your experience on the trip, Mike. Yeah, you know, I, I don't think I could say it much better than what Tyler just explained. Uh, good job, Tyler. That's that's a great explanation of, of what, what we kind of need to witness, you know. Uh, most of us don't go to Mexico, and so we're kind of trapped into this. It really, our, our, our culture in America is extremely corporate, extremely. Even though that most of us aren't involved in a corporate uh, a structure, so to speak, Wherever we go, we're kind of like being bombarded by by corporations and, and this nasty corporate type of philosophy. So when you go out there, it's like it's much more natural. And the, the children are playing ball. They're outside. People are, are having fun together. Now, granted, there's the flip side, right? I mean, um, there's a health and safety issue out there that 
they don't have that we do have. So it is a little complex, but it, you know, it's nice to see these people. They're very happy people, but they're also in, in you know, they're in dire need of, of a lot of uh, health and safety measures that we can help with. So, you know, I think that um, us going out there, it has helped me not only just give a proper perspective on people in general and our nations, but uh, also on power itself. I mean, when I worked for Sunrun, they wouldn't have ever did anything like this. I mean, yeah, they send you on trips, right? But like not humanitarian trips, you know, not on trips like this where the, the, the person is embraced. And so when the person is embraced in a sociological way, it's also embraced with, in, in the team building way. You know, so, I mean, and I know other companies are doing this kind of thing, right? But it's great that, that Power is, is doing it. I, I'm I'm proud to be a part of Power. It's been great. Awesome. Hey, guys, Thanks, just Mike. want to uh, jump in really quick and mention, um, Jonathan and I, when we first met this office, uh, we met a real estate office and we started, you know, showing them about solar. And within this building, uh, we met Prosperity Homes that builds these homes and we knew there was something very, very special about them. And then uh, Rick and Jonathan introduced Prosperity Homes to Power. And they're so alike, right? Like Power is a soul-centered company. They're very focused on doing more than a regular company. And how crazy is it that they think, hey, we don't just want to send you on a trip and wine you and dine you. We want to impact your life. And that's why it's called the impact journey, because Cami said, I want to make an impact on someone's life, on the life of our leaders. Um, and so that's why the trip is called work hard, play hard. We're going to go work hard and then we're going to go um, play hard. So it's just amazing. And I feel very lucky to be part of a company that that does that. And um, the the organization we partner with you guys doesn't just build homes in Mexico. What's really cool is they go back and they make sure the families have financial literacy. They encourage them to start jobs. I'll give you one example. The last family they built a home for, they give they gave the husband a set of tools and he built a restaurant with those tools. And it's just amazing to me um, what what we do when we're not just doing charity work, but but this organization is actually doing sustainable philanthropy. Um, for these people. So it's just amazing for anyone who didn't go. They really, I feel terrible for them, honestly. Like it's such a great experience. Um, besides all of that, it's really cool to get to know each other on a deeper level. Cause when you go down there, your heart is just wide open and it's really cool to connect with, with everyone there. And so a lot of us, you know, had really nice conversations. You get really close to everyone and you get to know someone on more than just you know, a work level. But if you guys ever do have a chance to go, um, definitely take the opportunity. It is a lot safer than what it seems. We caravan together um, and the setup they have is is very, very nice. So that's all I wanted to say, guys. Yeah, thanks for sharing that, Cynthia. I'm guessing the, uh, the building permits are a little bit less lax or a little more, you know. Yeah, yeah, there, there's no there's OSHA. Go build a <laughs> on the roofs, that's damn sure. Safety yeah, you guys were are, you're not waiting up for permission to operate for the home, and uh, <laughs> we, we didn't deal with on. any revision, no revisions or anything. No like revisions, that. any change orders through the process? <laughs> no, no roof leaks. No roof leaks. No roof no leaks. Roof. Jonathan Bob was joking. We forgot to check the conduit run box. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> didn't do an attic run. No attic run. No attic run. What's funny is we, uh, J Bud is always the first to jump up on the roof. He's always the one that wants to be on the roof. And his famous saying is, you haven't lived until you've roofed. And you can't get that guy off the roof with his hammer. He's there the entire time. So when you're seeing the CEO of the company, like walking the freaking walk to that degree, like how can you not love him? Like, come on. <laughs> yeah. Rick, I'll say one thing on that. And because I was on the roof a lot too, and it, does make you appreciate even more so our roofers and our installers and how hard they work every single day. I'm at an install right now to thank our installers and I'll be knocking doors, but it is not easy what they do every single day to get our jobs to reality. So another nugget to take away from that, just as you guys have your installs going on and re-roofs going on, it's a ton of work. Amen. Amen.
We have Obaldo. <laughs> Where's Ubaldo? Is he on? He's always a great. Yes, Rick. I'm here. I'm here. Aha, that's my brother. <laughs> it's good Try to not see to make you all. Cry. Oh my God! What an amazing week we have. So, I, first of all, I just want to uh, uh, highlight, you know, Cynthia, uh, Jonathan, Rick. I don't know if Power will be the same company without you guys connecting uh, Power with Prosperity Home because this is a very very essential essential part of the the of the, of the company now and uh, to be honest I don't change just moment for uh, all the money in the, in the plan to be honest and uh, I feel honored to be uh, feel very proud to be part of this organization and not only that but be part of this uh, uh, life changing uh, uh, thing that we do because we I don't think we only change the, as family life. Uh, the 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 people you know behind them, but also the community. The the most houses we build, the most you know beautiful houses we build, the better the community. And they're gonna be communicating each other. They're gonna know. They're gonna know this company is changing the world. It's, this is this is not just about money. It's about something bigger than that. So I feel very proud. I I spend you know I enjoy every single moment moment I spend. I have the opportunity to meet you know Tyler, you know the both Michael. You know, Fabian, what a smart guy. You know, Alex, this is unbelievable. So I feel like I feel like uh, every time that you know the the journey, our journey is announced, I have to do more. I, I I invite you guys, those who have another opportunity to to be present. I've been three times, and I I'm not planning to miss any of them. So if you haven't had the opportunity, do it a little bit more, a little bit more effort because you're gonna be the different. You're gonna see the different. You're gonna feel. I mean, this is something different, and. Uh, I feel honored. Uh, one one part that I want to mention is, you know, the opportunity to 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 hand over the key to the family. This is very special for me uh, since I come in from very humble beginning. I I know how hard it is to have the, the most basic thing, you know, like a you know the a pair of shoes or a running water. That's powerful, and uh, uh, I don't know if you guys uh, know the emotion, the whole the whole group, the whole family. And she, the wife in particular, you know, they make a lot of, they make a lot of effort. They make, they're trying to do more every time to do better. And I can feel, you know, they want to do better, but they don't have the, they don't have the chance. They don't have the opportunity. So, uh, one, one thing in particular, I have a conversation with her and she said, I like to have my, I like to have my team, my beautiful home decorated and the things. So I decided to hand over like a thousand dollars, which is nothing for me, to be honest. Uh, I'm not bragging here, but it's not. You know, you know how much we make for every deal. So for her, that was a million dollars because they make use of eight dollars per day, and uh, she could hold it. So the little boy was, uh, you know, wiping off the tear because, uh, like, mom, everything's gonna be okay. We're gonna be fine. So that was a very special moment, and I feel like uh, <laughs> I, I, we, we're doing something beautiful. So I, I feel honored again. I feel proud to be part of this amazing group of people, and uh, I don't change. Uh, forget about the money, forget about the car that I won. So every time that the, the power journey is announced, I'm going to do my best to be there because I know we're doing something beautiful, something something great. So I don't know if you don't have time to mention the the, 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 the play hard part because I, once again, I have the most beautiful room in the, in the whole <laughs> trip and we have a lot of fun. So I, I feel great, I feel honored. And uh, again, I, I don't think I'm going to miss any of those trips because it's a uh, life-changing experience. So thank you so much. All right. And yeah, just to showcase some of the play hard part, thank you for that beautiful share, Ubaldo. We immediately went to a, a nice lunch, as you can see here, with a not so bad view. After we gave the keys, we went zip lining. We all had to sign waivers. If we die, our revenue share goes over to uh, Jonathan Budd. I'm just kidding. Um, but we did zip lining, and then we went to the resort, had a beautiful dinner. Everyone had their own villa, basically, at this gorgeous resort, and uh, had a, a nice dinner here. And uh, just a free day the next day. Some people did wine tasting. Some people got massages. You know, we did a mastermind uh, in person with a lot of the top sales reps here and the people that attended. And then to top it all off, we decided to uh, sign more waivers and go skydiving, jumping out of a, a perfectly good plane 
It was Jonathan Budd's first time skydiving. Ubaldo and Cami were the only ones that have done it before. Um, but that, yeah, that wraps up the impact journey pretty much. So moving on, if you have any questions, type it in the chat. And Jared, I know you have something special you did recently that you want to share uh, before we move on to updates and important events as well. Yes, I do. Thanks for that. And just real quick to touch on, you know, all your guys' great stories from the impact journey. I remember the one of the original ones that we went on uh, down to Mexico. Cynthia was there, your brother. Um, it was, it was, it, it truly is rewarding and humbling all at the same time. And if you ever, ever get a chance to do it, take up that opportunity. If you could get your kids to go though, you know, I think that would be some of the most powerful moments. Um, the, you guys, these, these guys, these people don't have shit. They're literally living on dirt. They, I mean, they are living in horrible, inhumane conditions and to go down there and, but they have smiles on their faces. These kids, it's like, you know, it, they got a soccer ball, no shoes. They're running around and um, you just feel so much love. I'm kind of tearing up just even thinking about it because it's uh it puts life into perspective. We are so blessed with this opportunity. We make, you know, incredible money for what we do. But it's like some of us have children and when they're bitching and crying because you won't let them play with their iPad or, hey, I, I wanted this toy at the store. It's like, no, knock it off. Knock it off. If you can get your kids to come down there and the perspective and them just to see what what the world's really like, um, I highly, highly recommend it. So uh, thank you guys, everyone, for sharing those stories. They're very impactful and there is no better company than power. Hands down. There's it there does not compete in the solar industry. You guys are at the right place at the right time with a company and leadership that truly gives a, like they care. Okay. They really care. So, um, so, uh, I'm proud to be a part of this company. All right. With that being said, um, yes, I had, uh, something awesome. I wanted to share with you guys. So this past week on the virtual solar pro podcast, I interviewed the great Wally Arita from the Philippines. Um, it was an incredible hour conversation where we get into location independence, the, the freedom of selling solar virtually, um, his journey through sales, how he's become a one call closer, his sales mentors, what he looks into. It's an incredible conversation. Um, I want to share that with all of you. So I'm going to go ahead and drop the link to Spotify in the chat. If you can do your boy a solid, go ahead and follow the show, hit the notification bell because this is just the beginning of many, many episodes to come. And here's a little uh, sneak teaser. If you hit the notification bell and subscribe next week, I will be interviewing the one and only Cynthia Alvidrez um, on the podcast. So if you have any questions you want me to ask her on the podcast, drop that in the chat as well. But yeah, I wanted to share that with you. Go ahead. And I'm putting that in the chat now. Beautiful. Thanks, Jared. Yeah, those shows are really cool. I started watching Wally's interview uh, a little bit yesterday from the Philippines. So uh, Tom Cotter, do you have a quote or anything to share of the day, my friend? Yeah, I, I got a question for Jonathan and Jarrett and Rick. Somebody signs up, you know, starts working with power. Uh, they go through tier one certification and they disappear. And they reach out to you a month or two or three months later and say they need help generating leads. They can't figure out how to get their first utility bill. And you talk to them and you ask them, you know, where you been? You know, Tuesday training, where you been? Uh, market development meeting, where, where you been? Uh, building with Bobby, where you been? Um, Solar Power Master Hour. Guide. Solar Master Guide. Have you been looking at that? What's that? What's what's Solar Master Guide? So I, I put this together, and this is this is to this is what we want to say to those uh, sellers, those people that uh, sign up and don't ever really do much to take action to get some momentum in their business. So the the artist Drake, he's got like 133 songs. 
out of that 133 songs, he's got 38 hits. And this is Drake. You know, that's 28% success. Beyonce, no matter what you may think about country music, she's got 89 songs and 22 hits. That's 24% success rate. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers, 265 songs, 13 hits. That's a 4.9% success rate. So 70% of these artists' output doesn't hit. They, they don't have success 70% of the time. So if you are listening to this, you are new to power, new to solar, new to sales, you need to take massive action in one direction. Not every direction, not everything, one direction of starting conversations with homeowners. That action will give you momentum sooner or later, depending on your skill set. You just have to keep going in order to see the success that you want. Love it. Wise words, Tom. Appreciate that. And um, yeah, you got to find the aces in the deck, right? Our platform is just so easy to have people join and uh, you got to work with those aces and continue to build the business. Speaking of build the business, I'm going to talk about the big wave waiver that's been extended in just a second. Let's go ahead and do that. Actually, the big wave activation fee, $99 is still being waived. Jonathan Budd said in Mexico that our enrollment numbers and team building has been pretty solid. The numbers continue to go upwards, upwards, upwards. It could be due to many factors. Um, but guys, take advantage of that. $99 fee waived through the end of March. Um, it's just 85 bucks a month to join Power, start earning thousands literally within weeks. We have an M1 payment. A lot of companies don't. And so if you're, want, if you're wanting to build your business, recruit solar pro salespeople, realtors, lenders, roofers, uh, leverage this promo. Now's the time. And then Monday next week, as we all know, Power Hour, 5 Pacific, 8 Eastern, we're going to interview Michael Spring and Mike Craner. Um, and then I'll do the Power Hour business explained as well. So you got the Power Hour in front of you with some amazing interview guests. We got a promotion. So start inviting people to build the business now. I highly, highly recommend leveraging these two events and promotions. Um, Tuesday team training. Next week, we're going to cover how to not lose a deal with a competitor proposal. We're going to have a panel. You're going to hear from some of the top people on what comp competitor proposals they're seeing. We're going to review a Sunrun proposal, Everbright proposals, Freedom or Titan or Palmetto and we're going to talk about the things you should know to not lose a deal against competition. Everyone is shopping these days, so look forward to a panel next week. Following that, we're going to have the women of power on here, uh, probably talk about networking. Once you're in a BNI, a team, a chamber, how to maximize the crap out of that networking group. You all should be doing that if you're looking for referrals and self-gen deals. And here are a few other things we're going to be teaching on these coming two, three months, guys. We're going to review the home improvement contracts line by line and the Sonova contract line by line. That's a fun one. <laughs> Commercial solar. We got a few people on the team that we refer outside of power to. They might give us a little bit of training. How to use YouTube uh, with Julie and Todd Borden. How to close a PPA or talk about escalators. Jonathan Wilson, a few others. Proposal prep live with Cynthia. Recruiting and recruiting scripts with Chris Bernasso. I will do enterprise training and onboarding roofers and uh, installers. We'll talk about ethics and integrity on a training. We'll talk about project management on a training. And as of today, we're going to have Craig teach on events uh, for another Tuesday training. So guys, look forward to all these trainings. That's an epic lineup. If you like them, put it in the chat. And if you have other ideas, put it in the chat. Uh, and of course, powercalendar.com, all these trainings, market development meetings, um, and a lot of other important things as well. 
Uh, friendly reminder, April 18th through 20th in Utah is SolarCon. I do not think Power is going to have a booth at this time, but there'll probably be 20 to 30 Power reps, rock and swag, embracing the industry, networking, meeting Gary V. Um, Jim Bunch will be on stage. So if you'd like to get a 10% off additional um, promo code Jonathan, I would grab your tickets uh, for Utah. And then if you want to get trained by Danny Pessy, you know, I, I have no connection or monetary connection with this. Uh, I just like Danny Pessy and I think he drops a lot of fire like he did in Texas. So this March 7th and 8th in Los Angeles in person, you can go to dannypessy.com events. Uh, he gave me 30% off for the team. And he recognizes that power is one of the only strongest companies in business right now, guys. So he doesn't even invite other companies because they're not even doing good. But 30% off tickets start at $397. Two days of just ultimate in-person training uh, to build your business. Promo code is there as well. Two more things here, and then we'll drop to some office hour Q&A session. Uh, Power World in Florida. You have to attend this. Go to powerconvention.com. It's uh, September 2024, our annual in-person event and gala. I think you can still grab an early bird ticket for just $279. That's going to go up. So you have to be there uh, to experience another Power World and get your teammates there, more importantly. And then a few last dates here. March 9th, this Saturday, is what we call Power Day. So a lot of markets are doing an in-person training this Saturday. The first hour is a business presentation. Get your guests there. Drive with them. Bring them. And then there's going to be some local training in your market and utility. Um, not all markets are doing this. So go to powercalendar.com for Power Day. April 3rd Masterclass. I'm just going to stress how important this masterclass is. It's likely the most important masterclass of the year. And Jonathan Budd has a ton of new products, new software, and new lenders to introduce. Uh, guys, so just get excited because April 3rd Masterclass is going to be bananas. Uh, we're going to elevate ourselves in the industry even more. So stay tuned for that. And here you can see a breakdown of uh, Power Days in person and then solar Saturdays are virtual. Take a screenshot, watch the recording, make sure to plan these out on your calendar. Last thing I have, I have an idea. I'd like to get some feedback in the chat. Let me open up the chat. I have an idea of doing a call night or a call blitz. And it's basically, we all hang out on Zoom from four to six Pacific. And one of these nights, maybe it's Tuesday, maybe it's a Wednesday, we're all gonna, review a script, maybe watch a role play, and then we're all going to mute ourselves and we're going to call realtors. Someone's going to take green certified realtors. Someone's going to take realtors in, you know, LA, San Bernardino, whatever, Texas. And we're all going to share what scripts and what's working. And then the next week we can call our mortgage lenders. And the next week we can call some of our ambassadors and send a text. And the next week we can call on our unsold leads. So Give me some feedback in the chat. Um, who would attend a call blitz night? And um, what are your thoughts on that? I, I think it's just uh, without a doubt, it would be beneficial. 100%. Okay, cool. These are income producing activities and taking action. And I know not everybody is self-starting and has the gusto to block off their time. And that's what it takes to be an entrepreneur. But if you can get on a group of accountability, hey, let's all hop on a Zoom. All right, let's all mute. Let's make some phone calls. You got to win. Come on. Let's talk about it. Like keep each other pumped. Right now is the time, you guys. It's, you know, it's March 5th. It's some solar season is here, you know, so. Great, Jared, because you're in charge of it. So I'm just. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'll take phone calls anytime. Thanks for the time. Um, you know, Jarrett, appreciate you and your leadership. Rick, major shout out. And Tom, to your guys' as leaders, the beautiful trip we experienced, all of the events and everything that makes power so magical. And guys, we have the best leadership. 
getting to know Jonathan Budd on a deeper, deeper level. He's the most soul-centered, emotionally intelligent, doing the deep work. And I'm telling you, he's on another elevated level right now, as of a few months ago. Um, and it is just so motivational to see where this is headed and what updates are coming. So I'm super pumped. Um, and I know with that, we probably only have about 10 minutes of open office hours, some Q&A. You could type it in the chat. You could raise your hand. We do have a hard stop at 11. Um, so much love, everybody. But that's all I got. All right, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and end this recording, and then we will jump into Q&A for 10 minutes. So thanks, everybody, for showing up this week, and we will see you next Tuesday. Boom.